capacity for such a, a catastrophe. If it did occur, uh, we could uh, quarantine San Antonio. Mayor, are you very optimistic about the passage of the $38.8 million capital improvements program? Yes. Or the issue to pass? I would estimate approximately 20,000 voters favoring the bond election September the 8th would be sufficient to carry the bond election. Ralph, the Tarrant County Welfare Department is going to ask the uh, Commissioner's Court for more money. How did you happen to run out of funds? Well, actually now, the Tarrant County Welfare budget itself is not out of funds. Spiro Agnew went out to uh, try to help elect the Republican senator, and he attacked my committee, the uh, Labor and Public Welfare Committee. It so happens that uh, the two California senators that own my committee, Senator Cranston, the Democrat, trying to do things, and Senator Murphy, the Republican, trying to keep them from doing things. And uh, so Agnew's attack here that he had in the papers this morning was on the Senate Labor and Public Welfare Committee. It's an attack on my committee. And it's a spurious attack. He says the Democratic members uh, on the Senate Labor and Public Welfare Committee, the 10, have proposed annual spending programs totaling more than $440 billion. The part that pertains to the food stamp program is out of funds, and those are the people that are in trouble, and we're asking that some funds be transferred to that uh, addition, that fund in order that they might continue their work the rest of this year. How much are you asking for? Uh, we'll ask for a sum of something like $7,700. That's the total sum, 60, 60 some odd hundred, 6300 for them, and about uh, 1400 something to be transferred into my salary budget. If the epidemic continues, uh, I would uh, not be surprised if this measure uh, would not have to be used, and perhaps even the public schools might not be able to open if uh, the new cases continue to occur. How would a physical quarantine of a city that size, uh, how would it be done? It's a very, very difficult problem. We've had uh, some limited experience uh, in Lubbock and Corpus and, and South Texas with the tornado disaster of having to, to quarantine or block off a section of the city or our city for a few hours, a few days, uh, but it would be a mammoth problem, but uh, this is all part of, a, of domestic affairs that the state should be prepared to meet, whether it's a, a disaster like a hurricane or whether it's a diphtheria uh, epidemic like we have in San Antonio. I'm very optimistic at this time that the five propositions will pass. The members of the City Council and the members of our Action Committee have presented the program to several thousands of people within the last three months. 
And as the result of a recent poll survey, it is indicated that all five propositions will pass on September the 8th. What effect will the deletion of the $7.9 million for the library have on the debt of the bonds? Our economic advisory committee have indicated that with the deletion of the $7.9 million that we can carry the $38,800,000 million, $38, million capital improvement program without a tax increase for the next three years.